Hi, and welcome to episode 14 of my Grand Necromancer series. I'm Icon, and today we'll have to digest the tragic demise of Iomlin. She died of a heart attack before we were capable of initiating her into the unholy ways of necromancy. A true tragedy, but we'll have to dig through that. Now, we got a expectation for some morning ritual, so let's start out with that. The piece of art here relates to Yamlin walking around naked on the burst of Aprame. Don't ask. That's zombie culture. Lackluster transcendent morning. Aww. Not even her burial was good. Too bad. Well, we can't change that for the moment. We still have to convert Corsini, right? That's the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, the usual madness will proceed. The relocation of our steel is going wonderful. I really love how, what they're doing there. There's finally room here for the stone box, so probably I'd love to have another storage area for these things too. So much work to do. Okay, but for now, we're going to finish the bedrooms that I had planned here. So let's go over to the classic furniture tab. So I'd say bone double beds sound like something very fitting to the environment here. Bone dressers, yeah. If you can go edgy, go super edgy. At least when you're trying to be a necromancer cult, if you ask me. Okay, so we're, we're going to create something out of wood after all. So the table here is not made out of bone. And let's see. Dining chairs. Yeah, why not? Okay. That also means we need more bone. Pretty sure we're out of bone again. We're all, always out of bone. And that's after raiders were attacking us several times. Well, well. Feel slowly quite incapable of uh, working with all that material, so it's time to start building sculptures out of our stone. So let's go and do some migmatite art or basalt art. I'd say basalt art. Let's do a couple of statues. There's only one artist in the settlement. That's good. Okay. Well, we're out of research projects, too. Outrageous. Now let's go for describing. And visitors. Wow. We could turn them into food and bones. Well, I don't know. So I can create pretty much everything here. Unfinished arcane book okay so this would be the better source but it needs, needs devil strand devil strand is in this environment basically not creatable sadly or well maybe it is but it would take years to get us some devil strand we must find other methods to to get that going Oh man, those thrombos, they really taunt me. There's an eclipse. Well, the gods of darkness approve, I guess. Uh, no rituals doable right now. What a pity. And I'm all out of resource. I've got to do something. Well. What the? Griffins? Griffins. Hmm. There's a soul thrumble out there. And there's visitors too. Hmm. Oh no, it's a duel. Tempted. But not gonna go for that. 
I mean, I could kill those uh, visitors with that, but I don't know how my zombies would would fare against Rumbos. This might backfire horribly, so i rather not. And these dudes, they really buy everything. Do they sell anything I want? No, not at all. Oh, well, matricide, okay. I'll trade that match aside and get rid of my junk here. That's a beautiful proposition, don't you agree? Got so many items I don't need. Opting out of trade in this run is really a massive downgrade. I mean, I'm not entirely uh, opting out. I'm just uh, denying every trade that's that needs some action from my side. So proper medicine, well, I don't want to use it because it breaks the immersion, you know. We don't have anything better. But yeah. Take my junk, Ariria person. School of Necromancy approves. But I also seem to have not enough timber. No, I do have enough timber. There's just not enough cloth. Cloth is the big issue here, after all say do i have a mod installed to disassemble clothing there are mods which allow you that but it doesn't seem like i do where to get cloth from growing is kind of hard and braiding it is uh it's a taboo well not buy it it's not a taboo if the traders come by you know what I mean. This is rather difficult. Fire wasp eggs. 15. Okay. Jeez. Plasteel combat knife. Plus steel. Shouldn't exist in our fantasy world here. Otherwise I would pick it up. It's a massive good weapon. The uh, damage of that one is insane. So, dear zombies, we'll have to hunt some monsters. Come on. Give me that ward. Looks tasty. Also, bones, you know. We need those bones. And how far away are those griffs from, from one another? Go forward, brave zombies. Yeah, okay. Hey. Man, I'm, I'm, I am I'm now want a undead, zomb uh, undead zombie griffin. Need more necromancer. Quite sad that Ionlin died. I really would have, uh, would have, uh, liked that, you know. It's okay. Why does my game get laggy when I have the bone bubble bats? Okay, well, we're going to continue with the apartments here like that. Beautiful, large rooms for necromancer practices, you know, for scholars of the dark, of the dark arts. No door here. Probably I should build a door into that secret room. Oh, come on, let's use this. Let's see what we can get into these uh, rooms there. Something fancy. Well, the wild pawn. Do they even provide bone? I have no clue. Well. Oh, there's berries growing on the bushes again. It seems like the temperatures are slowly rising. Still minus degrees out there, but it's also Ephraim, so at some point we should probably reach the point where we can hunt again. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be Olesia's room. And this will be Orsini's room. Here we go. 
yeah, somehow my game immediately starts lagging when one of these uh, beds is on my cursor. Is it just exclusive to these to this mod, or is it a general thing on beds? Definitely exclusive to the beds of the classic mod. What? We've struck rose quartz. Okay, beautiful. Got some gemstones by now. Probably should start using them. Beautify this place, I mean. At some point your insane necromancer cult has grown to some wealth, you know. Okay. What's that up there? Ooh, buffaloes. Yum yum. Ah, Lady Kokora is ill again because of a dirty cooking area. I thought these smokehouses would be best outside. Little did I know. Oh, do we have already art? So. Lady Kokora's eating habits. Alright. She's surrounded by hundreds of boom rats. If you squint your eyes, the dynamic composition of the image reveals the outline of a vampire. <laughs> well, can't say it's not a fitting piece of art. Alright, the zombies are entombing themselves again with strange work order uh, things, but with zombies, the cool thing is it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, Armorsmith's visiting us. Aha, uh -huh, one day we're going to raid those poor fools, but not today. Okay, so we could sell away some poor quality bone armors. Down for that. Beyond that, well, is there anything that I want to buy? Steel heavy plate helmet. Jester outfit. Sadly, no plate armor or anything. Demon scale heavy plate helmet. Wow, that's a pretty costly one. Oh, I should have gathered some cool leathers as well, don't I? Let's see. Beads. Alright. One. Lots of new items have shown up here. A substantial construction. Spiked skull cap. Ah, eh, well, no. Rags. Well, not more bone armors for sure. I would need. I happen to need some more uh, just regular chest pieces. Okay. Here, button down shirts. We don't have those. And neither. Oh, yeah, pants, they are present. Okay. So let's check out what kind of leathers do I get. Do I own now? That are somewhat special. Okay, a little bit of raider leather by now. Light magical leather. That's from the Griffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to just uh, let these jobs go by. And let's see. Storage wise. Hampers. Well, freaking bags. Meteorite, okay. Or do we use shelves? I think I'm going to use shelves. They are, after all, quite good things. Boredom. Oh no! Well, I can't change much about the options of entertainment here until the cloth is uh, finally grown. Could take a while. So that amber meteorite actually landed right in our, in our base. Thanks for the express delivery of gemstone. I'll make good use of it, promise. Now, let's create one more of these rooms.
And after that, it's time to mine out the the real boss quarters, you know. There we go. Something large. Okay. Do I have enough Prasia light for that? I do. It's really cool once you are that rich that you can allow yourself to build stuff out of all manner of different things that you deem fitting. It's really cool. Especially when you want to build a castle or something like that. So that quest, what do they offer me for that? Skill trainer, shield belt, hell no. Definitely none of the things that my that my fine necromancers would like to have. So let's see, what do we have here? A poor quality. Lonesome guts. Close combat slaughtering of Sfondrati by Roto Roto Kanashi. Okay. It's art about a zombie getting slain by a zombie, basically. An onion in the distance seems to symbolize revenge. Who doesn't know the onion of revenge? Person's hair. Seriously. So I have art that depicts the heroic deeds of my zombies. Isn't that beautiful? What's not to like about that? Alright. Kind of sad that I have to delay those... Um, those tables so hard, but what can I do? At least my people are starting to plant out the cotton plants now. Yay! <laughs> okay. With that apartment being done, we can now assign that one to... Braga. Okay. So let's see. Decent bedroom, slightly impressive. Is there no... Why don't I have that readout here? Questions? <laughs> yeah, okay, not that important. Major break risk on Braga. Yeah, well. Who's my main plant operative? Master Gokora is... Oh, it's grown too cold for, for that, I see. That's why they're not doing it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is a really large scale project. Do I have gold, by the way? Yes, some gold. Okay. So, classy double bed meets devil strand. That devil strand again. Well, we're going to use a, a royal bed then. Something really nice. Let's take that amber. Yeah, why not? We found that amber. Amber royal bed. Okay. Let's just hope it's going to be of decent quality. Raga should possibly do that. Honestly, I feel as if this is a really important thing, <laughs> that a talented person is doing that. The Empire of Hyas is attacking us again, and it's Braga's sister. 20 people. It's quite the raid. And they want to sap us. Okay. So we'll have to bring the entire school. Hello game, isn't it time for combat music by now? So, the sap is happening down here. Alright. Okay. They took through that door super quickly though. Okay, I'll have to send zombies down there to fill the gap. And I also need to slam down a Fog of Torment down there to avoid that 
too many people here are feeling safe about their position there. Okay, there was no chance that we were able to stall their approach in any meaningful way. Okay, the zombie horde is uh, really, really, really delayed. Very concerned about the well-being of my of my necromancers here, honestly. Honestly. So we're we're going to we're going to retreat our our main operatives. Alessia already uh, got down there, but well, it's Alessia the wimp, you know. She's always behaving like that. All right. Let's see how this will play out. Colonist needs treatment. Okay, Svondrati. Svondrati the zombie is bleeding. However that works out. Okay. So yeah, those breach raiders, they really mean a different uh, kind of trouble. So I guess Lady Gokora... Yeah, yeah, it's the food poisoning. Alright. And if I remember correctly... Okay, Corsini got another another shot of uh, a fog of torment ready there, and we got more zombies capable of getting into that fight. Ooh, that was a zombie downed. You fools! Do you know how long it takes for me to find out which zombie you downed? Leonidas, warrior. Okay. There we go. But that's at least a big bad healing for our zombies. Our enemies though are pretty pretty scary at this point, not gonna lie. Ah, most of my zombies are not really participating. Duh. No wonder it doesn't work. Okay, now they're fleeing. Finally. Okay. Let's just uh, leave them for now. Okay, I got... Oh, I lost Master Kokora. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, Alessia, you need some help. For real. Somebody patch her up, please. And over here... So we'll we'll have to find Master Kokora again. That's one really important thing. Then somebody needs to patch up Shosepi. You know. Also very, very important. And I also want to capture as many of these fools as possible. Let's see what we can do with them. And let's see if I'm able to to rescue them somehow. Well, Braga, how about rescuing Alicia first? Hmm? One of your fellow necromancers wriggling on the ground in hard snow. Jeez. They are so mean towards one another. So here's Master Gokora. There's one more thing. We have to find out who's lacking zombies now. So, one for Gokora, one for Alessia, two for Gokora, one, two, three for Sini. So, we got two on Gokora, and Alessia only has one. Alessia can carry one more, and Lady Gokora can carry one more. So, I'd say it's only fitting if she puts up her brother again, even though... It'll take her a while to get there, but I don't care. Ah, she's finally recovering from her food poisoning. Wonderful. Now, raise undead. And we do it there. Zap. Okay, Master Gokora, re-equip your sword and... Well, we'll have to wait until Alicia is able to pick up another Zombo. But, all in all... It was, uh, it, it could have been worse, you know? It could have been worse. So, Fog of Torment? No. Of these things. Alright, we got Consume Corpse now on Lady Gokora. 
down. Needs rescue. Nutrition. Malnutrition. Medical emergency. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, Corsini is rescuing the... Braga Medical Zero. Okay. Malnutrition trivial. God. What's wrong with you people? Okay, so we're definitely not capable of saving everybody here. I'm going to accept that Vanemacher is going to pass away. As far as I see things, at least. Alessia went into corpse obsession. Did she at least eat something before? No. <sighs> I hate it when they do that. Alright. Well... Actually, we might have actually we might have saved him if uh, there wouldn't have been that mental breakdown. Whatever, doesn't really matter that much. Can somebody now put Yoshi back onto the into the grave? Thank you. And well. She did eat something while being nuts? Yeah, okay, cool. I didn't know that was possible. Then, of course, it's no problem at all. So, here's the heart deal. I'll have to keep an eye out on this one until the last couple of work units is, has to have to be done, and then, then it's going to be the right moment to let Braga finish that. That's how things work, you know. Alright. We closed that breach. Also good. So... Now, Lady Gokora has three. Alessia has... One. And Corsini has three. We need one more for Alicia as soon as she's snapping out of it. it this is a really annoying part of uh, the whole zombie thing. Man, there's so much bad stuff going on with our food here. And that's even though we got... Well, I should turn off the zombie cooks, I guess. Nightling hunting erstwhiler. Seriously, are the nightlings now hunting our zombies? That's crazy. Let's see how this plays out. Are you sure the nightling should... Oh, he's... Actually... Dodging every trap. Oh, he did trigger that lightning... Mine. Let's see, did it... It didn't do anything to the... The nightling. Okay. So more of them coming? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Now we need another zombie. This one's looking good. So overall, I'm very disappointed with the lightning mine there, honestly. Dederich, welcome. So these nightlings, they need to be taught a lesson here. Our zombies are in food. Our zombies are turning them into food. That's how things work around here. They fundamentally misunderstood the situation. So, anybody else? I love zombies. It's so cool to have 
soldiers basically that don't care about the that don't have any needs i guess that's why people love the androids mods so much too because basically that's a similar behavior starvation on lady Bukora. can somebody please feed the boss seriously guys Go eat something. Poor thing. Jeez. Alright, now that she's down, we should be able to feed her, though. Good. Ah, uh, the good old food poisoning, Django. Tango, whatever. That's those explosions, though. Oh, we've struck compacted machinery. Okay. Those components, they, they don't really exist. Not in our world, at least. Okay. Now... This is a, a, a rather peaceful episode today again. I can't say that I'm ungrateful about that. So, what do we have here? Oh, public executions. But first, let's check out our our people here. True Chilo. Do you... Does anybody of you have a particularly... Good predestination or pre uh, whatever. Man, lacking words. No, their skills really suck. So we're going to do that public execution thing. Satisfied. Okay. Beautiful. And for that one, we're we're just going to reduce the resistance for for Dumani. Let's see. Wardening, yeah. I want that Olesia does that job whenever she can. Because, you know, this is going to be the best way of training her social skills. And as soon as the resistance is broken, I'm just going to hope that the countdown for the next public E is done. So, you know. Keep the entertainment rolling. Okay, my dear friends, I'd say we are at a good spot to end today's episode. It's been my pleasure. I mean, we're now at the... We're now beginning to enter the luxury luxury stage. And that's that's pretty cool. I mean, seriously. This castle is, go is getting somewhere. Although the last raid was really scary. I am considering to widen these uh, walls, you know, and just put more, more doors behind one another. So, let's do something like that. Because this flank is a pretty regularly attacked spot, actually, now that I think more closely about it. People end up fighting here quite often, so Lady Gokora and Alessia are missing their bows. I somehow had a hunch when I saw these items there. Now, thanks for watching, drop your comments down below, leave a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed, and hope to see you again on the next episode, and check out my channel, daily new videos happening there, all you need to do is to subscribe and enable that notification button. Hope to see you guys next time again. Bye.